I learned how to do rough food palatability modulation. This was a little bit later, but still uh, learning a ton in my beginner-ish phase. I really, really struggled with hunger at the beginning of my bodybuilding career, which started around 2013 to 2016. I was already lifting for like damn near 15 years, but in many ways, still a beginner. And I figured out that when I ate more tasty foods, I craved more tasty foods when I was on a fat loss diet. And so I crave them, I eat them, that makes me crave more food, and then it's harder to keep a deficit and I'm going insane. So I intuitively started to figure out this, and then I researched some stuff, and the uh, um, Stefan Guiné uh, has the food palatability reward hypothesis, which he made very famous. I looked into that. It basically says, like, you eat tasty food a lot because it tastes good, and it, you just keep eating it because it feels nice. And so if you want to eat less food and make a diet less miserable, just don't pick super tasty foods. So I went full bore on this and I was eating meals that had, right? So if you're eating something right now, finish swallowing. Don't have anything a lot in your stomach because you're going to throw up. Oatmeal, but salted. Salted cooked oatmeal with broccoli and chicken chunks in the salted oatmeal. Scott, does that sound like a medieval something or other to you? Yes, that sounds terrifying. 